Uh, the Rabbits uh, get the Bronx this Friday. Uh, and Brisbane coach Anthony Seabold is pretty confident he knows what's coming. Yeah, I watched a fair bit of them today. That's what I often do on the day of the game. Um, look at the, the next week's opposition and, um, yeah, got a good feel for how they play their footy. Um, not a lot's changed from an attacking point of view, from what I can see uh, from last year. So they throw plenty at you. I loved it. Watching the Broncos post-match presser and Anthony Seville just a week out, throws a little barb across the bow of uh, Wayne Bennett. I've looked at what they're doing in attack. Nothing much has changed from the last 12 months. Still pretty good. Throw plenty at you. Well, Seabs has learned the game. So, Seabs has had a bit to say, though. It was a decent old crack at Luke Carey last week. Mm. Did you see that one? I think it was just out of place. I think he thought he was doing the right thing defending his player, comparing him yeah, to the, the player. Yeah, but it wasn't a nice way of doing it, mate. It, it wasn't, but I, I don't think it was meant in any way to be a slight yeah. at, at Luke Carey. Right. I mean, he was passionately trying to defend his player in right. the hope that the bloke he needs yeah, playing yeah. his best footy. Mm. Mm. Fair enough. Felt that his coach believed in him. I, I, I just don't think he thought that through. And it got the response it deserved. Uh, but so the coach swap happened, you know, uh, what, about nine months ago? Yeah. So here we are, th three rounds out from finals. Um, what's your take on uh, Wayne at the Rabbitohs and Anthony Seabold at the Broncos and the fact that they meet this Friday night? Well, it's interesting. Like the, the season began, the uh, Rabbitohs really took off and... Brisbane struggled, and you're starting to sit down and say, go, well, hang on, what's going on here? But then you look at the last two months, I think Broncos have won, what, seven games the last no, two they've months? No, they've only lost once in their last seven games. Well, so they've had go. five wins, a draw, and one loss. Five wins, a draw, and a loss against the, the Rabbitohs, three wins. So. Three wins in 11. But, mm. Guys, would I be correct in saying the Rabbitohs were going better this time last year under Seabold? Correct? Yeah, you'd be going yeah. pretty close to that, Buzz. And I think you could say the same thing. The Broncos were going better under Wayne. Yeah. They were more points than I think they were about on. fifth this time last year. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's very hard to make a judgment. They both had their different struggles at their new clubs. But the, the Bennett to the Rabbitohs thing halfway through the season looked like it was going to be seamless, right? Mm. And, I mean, for the last couple of months, even that debacle out of Townsville, you know, just the week before last, mm, mm. Uh, we're thinking that that Broncos mm. team can't do much. They, they'll struggle to make finals and do anything if they get there. Yeah. And mm. then all of a sudden, you know, Seabold reminds us of their record over the past seven weeks and you go, hang on, you sort of see an improved performance immediately off the back of that uh, debacle against the Cowboys. Mm. Um, great win over the Panthers. Mm. And it's just set a different tone. I'm, I'm just... I, I just don't know whether or not that's even going to matter come Friday night. No. Nah, it's oh, going to get personal, right? It's going to get personal. I'll tell you what, the rest of the... We'll, we'll have plenty of stuff for the rest of the week. On TC <laughs> it will be going. sensational. And you know what I'm looking for? The camera on Wayne's melon. Yeah. You know, we've sat... Yeah. If... I want two com uh, press conferences each from both coaches yeah. this week. Yeah, so they can I, retaliate. I think they should be forced.